Hello everyone, this is Geek Goth. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Book of Unwritten Tales 2. I think it just saved. <laughs> um, I can't remember what I was doing. Uh, I am sorry that I haven't uploaded anything in a while. Because I have been prepping and doing other bits and pieces for my wedding. Uh, so... If any of you have had, if any of you have gotten married, you know how hectic it is. <laughs> and yeah. So that's the reason why this week I've not been able to do anything. Alright, so if I just quickly click around, I need to. Is it the My ink? first homemade golem. Looks cracking. All I have to do now is put a spell written in magic ink in its mouth to bring it to life. Yeah, okay, and I needed. Where's my tablet? Oh, where is it? Ah, wrong one. This one. Two CL crocodile tears, twelveteen drops of dragon sweat, one sea stone ounce of salt. Now I need to figure out how to do this. Um talk to Headmaster Block for a while. He's unfair to me, and pretends he isn't. I'm only going to talk to him if I have to. Right. There are a whole bunch of articles here. The paper is covered in writing so small and closely packed that it's difficult enough to decipher the text sober. Article 9, paragraph 1. Dwarven ale may only be served in specially secure underground bunkers. <laughs> Luckily, they don't know about the cellar master back home in the White Ridge Mountains and our dwarven ale experiment. <laughs> Indeed. I wonder if these guys would know anything. I don't need to talk to Sloth at the moment. No? Okay. I don't have anything to talk to Blout about right now. Right, so I can't have anything in here. So, uh, I'm going to go talk to the guy in the prison. I don't know whether I... I don't think I need the, uh... Can I put the bucket onto the thing? The fire's melted the ice. Now it's water. Nice! So I needed... I needed water, so... Filled to the 2CL mark exactly. Cool. Which means if I skip back to the lab, I should be able to make the crocodile tears. Because we had the salt from the crocodile tears. Um, but that was dehydrated. So, go in to the classroom, Wilbur, please. And we have the um, number, f the code for the door, I think. I'm not sure whether we've used that yet, though. I can't remember. All right, now two CL of water to the salt, and I have the right amount of crocodile tears. The concentration may be wrong, but I've never heard of that playing a role in alchemy. It's the amount that counts, the amount the thing. Okay then. Uh, there's like a stopper on that. It's crocodile tears with... Two CL of crocodile tears. Looks good. Crocodile tears are already in the pot. All that's missing are the soot and dragon sweat. And those are likely to be the most difficult to get. You're not bloody wrong, are you? I've got the soot, but I need exactly... On one side of the scale, there's a three sea stone small what ounce else? weight. On the other side, nothing. You see one of I was thinking maybe he um, weighs one ounce. On one side of the scale. On one. Okay, I get it. All right, I'm going to talk to. What was the? Wilbur, can please come here? I need to go out the door. Uh, what was the code for the door again? Four. 6941. These are the numbers that Timmy found in the headmaster's files. 
You should help me with the door to the staff room. Which means I should write them down like a good point and click adventure gamer. 460, 460 941. These are the numbers 41. that Timmy found in the head. They should help me. Okay. Let's talk to the magic door. Um, hello? What is the access code? The code is 469 Correct. Screw you. Every um, other then code. Shouldn't you be opening right you? about now? I don't know your voice. Headmaster Block hasn't introduced you to me. But I have the code. I have a dual level security system. The correct code must be delivered in the voice of a teacher whom I know. That would have been too easy. A code and a voice recognition system? Why so much security for a staff room? We are in a school for magic. The pupils have ingenuity and astounding abilities at their disposal. If a pupil were to brew a potion and change themselves into a teacher, they still wouldn't have the code. And if someone happens to have the code but isn't a teacher, they still cannot enter. But I am a teacher! Yeah. If you were a teacher at this school, Headmaster Block would have introduced you to me. Oh, bullshit. I guess he didn't think it was necessary. This is not going to work. I, um... <clears throat> it's me, Headmaster Block. I may not have the power of sight, but I do have an exceptional pair of ears. You are not Headmaster Block. I know. <sighs> The door won't be fooled so easily. The code has to be spoken in Headmaster Block's voice. That is a bit of a problem. You're not bloody well wrong. Um, maybe if I can talk to one of the other guys. I don't know. I wouldn't be able to get Block up here. Let's talk to Bill. Hello, Bill. Wilbur. Do you sell dragon sweat? Dragon sweat? That's very expensive. Uh, I was afraid of that. But I need it badly. I mean expensive. Hmm. I have to be going. See ya. I don't know how I'm going to be getting the dragon sweat. I have no bloody clue. <laughs> um, let's go down. Well, I'll talk to X. Anything I can think of. Uh, hello? X? Shh. What do you want? Here's the hammer. Here's your chisel back. back. Have you found the matching hammer? Found and tested. Lovely. Then I'll be out of here tonight. <laughs> You're welcome. Well then, uh I have to be going. Take care of yourself, brother. I was hoping you had something to give me. I should chat with X as little as possible. Uh, what else am I meant to do then? I wonder if Sloth would help me with a golem if I got him some chocolates. There are the chocolates. Sloth, two sea stones. I wonder if Sloth would help me... There are the chocolate Sloth was talking about. Two sea stone small ounces of indulgence per chocolate, with and without alcohol. Hang on a second, that gives me an idea. I'm going to go back to the school, because I have the weight, that's three ounces, right? And if one, in the, one of the chocolates is two ounces, I should be able to make up the difference with the soot with the extra ounce the one ounce that I need. And that should fix up the soot. Haha. -ha. That's the thing with point and click, you just need to keep clicking things till it all works out. And then Right then, the counterweight weighs exactly three sea stone small ounces. The chocolate weighs two sea stone small ounces. That means that when the weight is exactly the same on both sides, I'll have added exactly one sea stone small ounce to the pan. 
And that would be the case right now. Yay! You soot with... Exactly one sea stone small ounce of soot, and in you go. Right. Crocodile tears and soot are in the pot. All that's missing is the dragon sweat. Now oh, how am I meant to do that? The key for the gate between the upper and lower town. A delivery note from the Better World Ironworks Company. They must... A postcard from Seastone. It can help me get from A to B more quickly. Yeah, because that's how they One work. of the first clues that demons were in the cameras was that those photographed made strange grimaces they would never make in reality. A number of the students in this photo look more than odd. The graduating class of 1462 is written in ornate script above the image. Wonder if that's going to be important. Hang on, I'm just writing it down. Class of one. One of the first clues that and the graduate. Oh, four was a one 14? of the and not the graduating class of 1462 14, is written 62. in ornate script above the image. Maybe that's going to be a code or something later. Friedelin may have nibbled. What? Ah, uh, okay. It's done well by me today. Yeah, okay. Now it's the dragon sweat and I have absolutely no clue how I'm going to get that. Hmm. <sighs> dragon sweat. Hard to tell exactly what time it is, but the night is still young. If golems really are as industrious as the slate claims, it will have plenty of time to complete the headmaster's tasks. And as of dawn, he could then serve as Archmage Alistair's bodyguard, at least until the election. Hopefully the situation will calm down afterwards. So, can I change my voice? Like, I wonder if that's how I'll do it. Okay, this card. Okay, head back here. The drain's blocked by a grating, and even if I did remove it, I'd still be too big to climb down. I'll talk to... what's his face? She and Anne. The less I talk to him, the better. Wait, taken. Is there nothing else here? It's a low down, I guess. <sighs> I guess just go through and make a I don't know, click on everything that comes up really. I have to talk to what's his face. I'll talk to the trolls first. I don't have anything to do. I don't need to talk. My first homemade golem. All I've See anything? Must have block. Yes. Apparently, it's not enough to just know the staff room door code. You have to have been introduced to the door too. Correct. The door knows by means of the voice who has access and who doesn't. And who has access? At the moment, only me. Apparently, it correct. And who has? At the moment. Have to be going. Goodbye. Oh no. What can I do for you? Can you imitate voices? Thought it might. I can imitate the call of more than 17 birds. I'm more interested in human voices. I am sorry. 
I only have one voice at my disposal. A very pretty voice. Oh, uh, of, of course. Yes. Of I course. can, however, record speech. Hopes you record are. speech. What do you mean? Record speech. What do you mean? Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, you 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 can stop now. How does this recording thing work? I can record all of your conversations. If desired, I can play back only certain parts of the recording. Okay. You mean that if I can somehow get the headmaster to say 4, 60, 9 and 41 in conversation, you could repeat those numbers in his voice? Correct. Excellent. Nice. Headmaster B voice record. Uh, thank you. I might have some now. more questions for you later. And I might answer. Okay. Headmaster Block. Yes. How I uh, can I ask what is? Would you please say the word nine, Headmaster Block? No. Why should I? Just because? No, it's going to be Professor Weathervane, it may be that you pass your evenings with silliness, but I prefer to be productive in the twilight hours. I prefer to get my brain back. Of course. Forgive me. <laughs> How many rings of power did the humans get again? What are you talking about? In that saying. Three rings for the elven kings under the sky. Seven for the dwarf lords in the halls of stone. You know. Never heard of it. Fine. I wonder whether we should hang up some balloons tomorrow morning for the school's inauguration. Red ones would be best. What do you think? What would be a typical number of red balloons? Yes, what would be a typical number of red balloons? We don't have scope in the budget for balloons. I also find them rather unsuitable. 98, so maybe? 99? I said no balloons. I will get you to say nine. Whew, I could really go for a nice dwarven nail about now. How about you? It would kill you on the spot. You do know that. Oh, I grew up with dwarfs. The cellar master always served dwarven ale in the garrison pub. It's strictly forbidden. Who says? Licensing law, paragraph 9, section 1. Dwarven ale may only be served in specially secured underground bunkers. Paragraph 9 says that. Paragraph 9, indeed. Well, I've got 9. Ah, the cellar master probably didn't know that. I'm going to send a carrier pigeon off to him tomorrow morning to warn him. Very good. I found this class photo. This photograph of a school class was in the wrong cupboard. I'd like to file it away correctly, but I don't know where. Show me that. Mm -hmm. Here you go. The year is written boldly and clearly. 1462. Sorry, I can't read numbers. 62? Yes, 62. Ah, thanks for your help. Cool. That's 60. Um, why were you Why did they appoint treasure? you, of all people, treasurer? Well, I think the leader of the council values my punctilious manner and neat bookkeeping. In addition, I was, if I may be so bold as to simply come out and say it, mathematics champion for several years in succession in my youth. Oh. So, you were champion. a mathematics champion in your youth? For several years in succession, in fact. Mm-hmm. How many? Mm. Then tell me, what is... Okay. 65... 70... 65 plus... It'd have to be a minus. I think. 17. 17 minus? Minus. It'd be something really stupid. Oh, holy shit, come on! <laughs> Don't make me! <laughs> I 
I hate math! 17 minus... I don't know, I'm probably overthinking this. 17 plus 27. Sorry, minus 27. Is 10. 27 plus. This ain't gonna work. Oh dear, no. That'd be like 37. 47? 37. Yep. Carry the three. Yes, right. Oh, this is gonna be a is this gonna be a trial and error thing or do I really have to do this? I'm amazed by your math skills. I have one more problem for you. Well, hmm. All right then. What is? I'm amazed by your math skills. I have one more problem for you. Well, what is? All right. I think I've worked it out. I taking each single one and going through pretty much every single <laughs> um, math problem. Okay. Uh, 65, 65 plus plus 23 23 minus minus 47 should be it. 41. Aha! Are you sure? I get 40. 41 without a doubt. Thank Thanks. you. That's all I wanted. What are you drinking? A clear liquid in a glass in a bar. What could it be? Water. Water. Um, or vodka. Sure. Why not? A nice glass of cold water. It's warm water. I drink two glasses of warm water every evening. It helps the digestive process. Uh huh. Why don't you drink three glasses of water or four? Four glasses of water in one evening? That really would be decadent. Besides, you'd probably have to keep getting out of bed to go to the toilet. Yes, four glasses of water would simply be too many. You have but it's good that we were able to talk about that. Have to be going. Goodbye. Indeed, goodbye. Bye-bye. See you later. Here's the postcard, boy. We should have all of them now. Let me talk to them slightly. What first. can I do for you? <laughs> Ahem! Would you please let me and Headmaster Block in? I only heard the footsteps of one person. 469. 41. Oh, pardon me. Headmaster Block. That's better. Indeed. Let me through. Thank you. That's appreciated. Maybe get another piece of paper. It's all filled up with math problems. Ah. Uh, I got here. Okay. There's another one. Alright. I don't know whether these things change. It's, um, quarter after... 33 o'clock 12. The inauguration ceremony with the Archmage will be held here tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock standard time. That would be 87 minus 12 in the morning and... Uh, the fire's just embers. Wish I had some potatoes. <laughs> at least, I think that's I'm not works. sure I'd enjoy flying on a broom like that. I'm a little afraid of heights, and when I look at the handle, I can't imagine that it'd be comfortable to sit on. No. Okay, hang on, what's that? Rat hole. 
Is that her little Tommy? That must be the Timmy. rat hole Timmy used to get in. Timmy got in. I didn't even notice it this afternoon. I think that's why rats make such good intelligence operatives. Nobody pays them any mind. Hmm. Okay, let's take a look at the desk. Why is it? Is that clock going to be important? I guess Timmy's already looked in the rat accessible files. He found the door code in one of them. Point. For some reason, I'm taking. Rocky won't mind if I borrow his pen. Well, he probably would. But I don't care. But he doesn't need to know. Nope. Search the drawer. Right then. Blocky was fiddling with this drawer when I surprised him. Hmm, a small bottle. What's this? A letter. Dear Council Leader Van Buren, rest assured of my fullest support during the election campaign. Nevertheless, as headmaster, it is my duty to point Article 47, Paragraph 6 of the school rules out to you. Advertising of any form is prohibited in the school, and I must insist that the entire campus be left out of the electoral campaign. And now, the final inventory list for the ground floor of the school. Then there's a list of all sorts of objects, although it appears Headmaster Brock isn't quite finished yet. I'm impressed. The Headmaster forbids advertising in school, even if it is for Van Buren's campaign. Law and order seem more important to him than personal benefit. And yet he tries to badger me out of the school. Strange. That's why I think that there's something... These doubles definitely got my attention. Wilbur, just go for the bottle. The only thing in this drawer was this bottle. Spidery old-fashioned writing Hard to decipher. Yes. Dragon sweat. Dragon sweat! Dragon sweat! What is the probability of the headmaster having the one ingredient for magic ink in his drawer that I couldn't find anywhere else? Probably Talk about ability. luck! I reckon. Anything else in the drawer? Hmm. I was expecting to find something here that would interest Remy. Instead, no bomb, no plan of attack, nothing. The headmaster seems to be the most law-abiding man in Seastone. Could he really be a danger to the Archmage? I'm pretty sure there's a law that prohibits murdering the Archmage. Why is he acting so strange? If he's not part of the plot against the Archmage, then who is? He's double. There have been a couple of doubles, body doubles around. And it is disturbing. Enter the classroom. So we have the dragon sweat. It's in that. And we add this. Well, I'll add exactly 12 teen drops of dragon sweat to the pot. And done. Alright, that's all of the ingredients in the pot. And I have a quill, now that I think about it. Now to give it a little stir. Ta-da! Magic ink. Uh -huh. Achieve it. So, writing pad, magic ink. Right then, what do I need to write on the piece of paper to bring the golem to life? Just live? Yes, in principle. But in golem language, and that's complicated. I'll dictate it to you. Grolop Krishna Kalabeb. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Grolop Krishna Kalabeb. Okay then. Those are a lot of words for a simple lift. Bringing dead material to life requires precise instructions. Wait, Sounds logical. So what now? Put the piece of paper in the golem's mouth. The rest happens automatically. But not before. Bringing half-finished golems to life is strongly discouraged. Right, so let us transport ourselves. Is there anything else here that's used? No. 
Just checking. Uh, okay, let's transport down to the telephone. Cheers, real bill. And we should be able to golem spell. Bring the golem back to life. Here we go. Blout, it's time. Do you want to watch? Time for what? What are you two up to? We never build golem. Impossible. Come, you allowed not to. Right then. Live! <laughs> what are you doing? I, I, I felt it'd be boring without some thunder and lightning and so on. Uh huh. This isn't a Frankenstein film. It's alive! This really isn't a Frankenstein film. Fantastic! Willy Burr done it! Yay! A real golem! Help in in! We have holidays! But first, remember, he's going to be the Archmage's bodyguard until the election. It's just too bad he can't speak. Unless, ooh, wait a minute. Can you write? What are your orders, Master? <laughs> Let's go to the Mage School. We can discuss everything else there. Good work, Wilbur. Nice. Thank you. It feels good to be able to take at least one worry off the Archmage's back. Until then. Sweet. Alright. Come on, Gollum. Follow me. Mwah ha ha. Oh, you're evil! Mwah ha 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 ha. You're evil! How are you evil? How? Oh my god. I've created a monster. Oh, this is going to kick me in the ass. Oh god, oh god, oh god. You've put me upside down! And you have made a double of me! You asshat! I do not like this. What's going on? I need you. You looking for this? What the? <laughs> There's an evil me. I guess the first question really should be who. Oh, I... the archmage spoke of an evil presence in the school, but I never thought that I was the presence. I was under your nose the whole time, and you didn't even notice. <laughs> Are you something like my evil self? I'm no petty sideshow conjurer. I'm the greatest sorcerer in the world! Uh-huh. <laughs> ah, you. I remember you. Monkus. Monkus? The one and only son of Archwitch Mortroga, shapeshifter and evil genius. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Who's big, fat, hairy, green butt we kicked last time? But not this time! The Alliance will break, and the Kingdom of Shadows will rise again with me as its leader! Mama's boy. Uh, what do you plan? I don't really care how I got up there. You're a monster! So what are your plans? Just tell me. Oh, so this is the part where the bad guy tells the hero his plan so he can scuffle it at the last moment. Yes. No, not this time. Nothing is going to stop me killing the Archmage. Mm. You want to kill Alistair? What's that? You don't stand a chance. He's become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. I admit, his magical powers are impressive. Mm. And he can sense my presence. As soon as I get within a few meters of him, he recognizes my evil intentions. But how are you... Oh. Oh. That's right. Yep. Not magical powers, young friend. 
Good old physical strength will be his end. One hit from a machine that is neither good nor evil. He won't even know what hit him. <laughs> the, the golem woke up like that. You, I didn't go on people. ahead. I'll follow soon. No! I don't get it. That He woke up evil. I didn't do that, did I? Yeah, okay. How did I get up here? Release me, Bunkus, now. You're in... You implemented your plan right under our very noses? I have to admit, I'm a little impressed. How did you fool us like that? <laughs> well, it wasn't easy. It took a master of intrigue to manage it. Perhaps true. You were in my first class too, right? The boy, the headmaster, I was both of them. I was looking for a way to get at the Archmage. Impressive. Maybe you could uh, free me and tell me more about it. Yeah. You're such a transparent liar, Weathermane. It's shocking. I wasn't. What did you do to my golem? He was supposed to clean the school. <laughs> well, it appears that your golem obeyed his true master's orders. But it's supposed to defend the Archmage. Why, why, why doesn't the Pisspot do something? He can't. I fear that the spell which the slate provided, well, it contained more than just the order to... <laughs> you! I figured! The slate was from you. Ah! Light bulb moment! Just like the dragon's sweat, the only ingredient for the magic ink that you were not able to find. Yeah. We encountered each other when I put the sweat into the desk drawer. Yeah. Remember? I get it. Yep. Ah! I get it. Release I'm me now! I'm a teacher and a graduate mage! I demand that you release me immediately! Otherwise. What? Poke my tongue at you. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter. Otherwise, I'll get angry. And you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. No. Nope. I don't even like you as you are now. Anyway, what are you going to do without this? Yeah. That's mine! Give it back! Just as delicate as peace in a world without the Archmage. Yeah, delicate, isn't it? Um, do you want do you want to pretend that never happened? I mean, that was pretty embarrassing, right? The way you wanted to break that little thin wand and weren't able to. Remember? That one over there. You know, that skinny little wand right on the floor. The really thin one that you couldn't break. That one. Nice one, muscles. Ha 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 ha. Ah, suck it. I'll stop you. You're not going to do anything to Master Alistair. Oh, really? Oh, really? Master Wilbur Weatherfield. The big hero will prevent it. Hmm? The very same Master Weathervane who built me the weapon I need? No! What will the people say when it's your golem who crushes the Archmage? And that's not all. <laughs> Turn no! To me. Bitch, give me back my face! I demand my face time! I really hope that it wasn't a student. I don't I think hope it's I time. don't end up like that. Swing to the cage. Something big like that. Come on. Give Indiana Jones music. Or two random music. Try again.
Come on, you can do it! Keep going! Yeah. What have, what have I got? I can't get any closer to it. But I got the skull and a little bone that was hanging off it. Well, that's something at least. Hey! It makes much more sense when you look at it this way. Really? Nope. No, it doesn't. Okay. Let's <laughs> say really? I think that's the key to the shackles. It was given to me along with other keys when I accepted the teaching job. Oh, there's no way I'm getting that. Just a little... I'm a little bit short. Further! Now, we gnomes are optimists by nature when it comes to physical characteristics. I bet. But I'm afraid the key is still out of my reach. Timmy? Timmy! Help me! What? What are you doing, Mr. Professor? Ah, long story. You gotta get me out of here, okay? Fast! I don't want you to exert yourself though, Timmy. Okay, well, what do you want me to do? Uh... Uh... The key on the desk, Timmy. Can you reach it? I can't get up there. I thought you were really good at climbing. Yes, but, but not flying. Hmm. Well, think of something. Uh, Can you toss the wand up to me, Timmy? No. Looks heavy. Try. Don't hurt yourself, Timmy, though. Nice try. Hmm. Oh well. Good try, Timmy. Timmy, a thread from the curtain. Can you bite one off? Well done! Uh. Hey, Timmy! I've got something for you. Catch! Now, please tie the hook to the end of the thread. Yep. Excellent! A grappling hook. Can you use the grappling hook to climb onto the desk, Timmy? Come on, Timmy. You can do it. I believe in you. Save the Archmaid, even though I really know that we're not going to be able to get there in time because of Great. the newspapers. All right, grab the key. Uh, the ruler, Timmy. Can you push almost half of it over the edge of the desk? I've got an idea. Yeah, we can. We can like do a catapult thing. Perfect. About half of the ruler is on the desk, while the other half is hanging in thin air. About half of the ruler... Uh, Timmy? Can I throw the heavy skull? Okay, Timmy, this is where it gets tricky. Please stand on the end of the ruler. Get ready to I know, be the chances are one in a million, but we've got to try. Time is running out. Don't worry, Timmy. Ready? Go! You can do it. Way! Yay! Well, how good was that? The shackles, fast! This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt a lot. I love it when a plan... Ah! Oh, Ow. face first. Go. Ow. I'm free. Come on to me. There we go. Well done! Now listen to me. You run as fast as you can to your Uncle Remy and tell him that there's an attack planned on the Archmage. Got it? An attack on Master Alistair? Yeah. That shapeshifter Monkus is behind it. And he has a golem. My golem! We can do it. I'll get Uncle Remy. Go. I believe in you, Timmy. 
Even though I know that the newspaper is gonna say that I killed thingy. Got it! Let's hope I can do something with it. <sighs> He's hoping. Do I have anything in my room that might help me? Hmm. Nope. Don't think so. Okay. Let's skedaddle. Come on. Why are you taking so long, goddammit? Shield hand. I need to get in the hall. Immediately. Stop. Admission only by written invitation. You serious? But the Archmage's in there and he's in mortal danger. Yeah, right. But believe look, me! I'm sure he can look after himself. Not from a conk on the head! I don't have time to play games, Shield Hand. You're going to let me in there. Hello. Such a tone of voice from oh so friendly little weather vane. I'm a little bit no! frustrated. I don't think so. I think you should. <laughs> I'm looking a little bit evil right now. That was a little bit evil. That is not helping my case. Oh, just in time. Ah, Wilbur, good to see you. Hello, Archmage. Good to see you too. No! 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 Stop! Face. Enough! I should have known that you'd be ah! Monkus. This is the last time you hurt Avantasia. I'm going to have you imprisoned and... You little... Oh. Bitch! Alistair. What the... Ooh! <laughs> Oh my god, of course it's me, little girl. Oh my god. And they're gonna blame it on me, Danger. the bastards! We have an intruder! Wilbur Weathervane! What the? You're too late, Shield Hand. The Archmage has been murdered! You oh, whore! Him. But. What? You little bitch! Oh. He has murdered the leader of the Alliance, which makes me the new leader. Arrest him, Shield Hand! You whore! But, but... Wilbur, this way! Quick, put this on! Stop them! Ha ha, suck it! Oh. Out of the way! You don't have any magic, bitch. Now screw you! Holy shit, mother. Great. The great evil pink is done by a little girl the, the Archmage. We, and we, her we, we have to mother. We can't do anything right now. We should first consolidate our position and gather information. All right. What happened exactly? Ah. <sighs> uh, Monkus is behind all this. Monkus is behind all this. He tricked us all. Monkus, the sorcerer. He can use his amulet to transform himself. He assumed the role of the street urchin and the school headmaster, at least temporarily. We never found him in the Tower of Evil. And how could we? He must have disguised himself as one of our own soldiers and come with us to Seaston. The golem. The golem has never really listened to me. That damned magic slate whispered him his real commands. I built the weapon which tried to kill the archmage. If you want to blame someone, then start with me. I encourage you to build the thing. It was my duty to not just think of the good, but also the bad. 
it could cause. And you're a wand. What was that all about? The Archmage is the most powerful mage I know, and I saw him being turned into a frog, just like that. I don't, I don't know. It behaved strangely yesterday in class, too. But I never would have thought that it was so powerful that even a little girl... It... it was the wand. The whole time. It did all the magic, not me. It's so powerful that even a little girl... Oh, don't it's worry. It's all my fault. I didn't recognize Monkers, and I didn't realize there was a dark force coming from my wand because... Wilbur. Don't because worry. in reality, I'm not a mage at all. Oh, Wilbur. It's okay. I feel really bad. I'm actually tearing up a little. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Yeah. So great. We've got a little girl that cannot control her magic skills, or one that's evil. What's the situation? Monkus Not is around. Good. Another two of us have been turned into Amsters. The town is a nightmare in pink. The resistance has collapsed and the lower town is more like a ghost town. The Van Buren girl is transforming everything that is in her mother's way. There's nothing we can do to stop it. How's our patient? Of course she would be using her daughter to do things. Anyone doesn't agree with her. Come on, Wilbur. You can't go on like this. You've been lying there for days. We need your help. I want to give it my hug. How I feel. I've already helped enough. How many times have I told you it wasn't your fault? But even if that's what you want to believe, please help us sort out this mess. We have to get a wand of Van Buren's daughter and find a way to destroy it. And none of us knows about magical wands. You're the only one who does. Oh, I don't have a clue about magic. You should find someone who's better. Shouldn't be hard. I want to go home and move to the White Mountains. I don't think I should say that. Uh, it's got to be one of the top two. Hmm. I do kind of have a clue about magic. Find someone who knows more about magic than I do. Shouldn't be hard. There are no mages left in the city. Most have fled or have been transformed by Van Buren. You're the only one left. I don't know a thing about magic. I just waved a magic wand around and if all went well, I was able to light a fire. A little girl could transform entire cities with the same wand. But you still know more about magic than we do. And then there's your legendary ingenuity. Where did it get me? I killed the Archmage and plunged the world into chaos. The world is always in chaos. And Alistair might still be alive. But why would Van Buren leave the Archmage alive? Why not? She uh, feels invincible and is keeping him as a trophy. Van Buren has turned the school hall into a headquarters because the Archmage's office in the Mage Tower is hiding from her. And all the rattles in the school have been blocked off, so we don't know what is going on in there. You gave me the wand back in the day. Where did you get it? I'm on my way there now to look for clues as to how it can be destroyed. Will you come with me? I... I can't. I'd just make things worse. Oh. No, you wouldn't. And you've wallowed in shell pity for long enough. Yes, Wilbur. Come on. Hey! There's no place for layabouts or cowards in the resistance. That's not... Yeah? It's not what, Wilbur? You're right. I'll... I'll go back to the White Ridge Mountains. Fine. Then go home and wait until the war comes to you. But my ring stays here. Hey, don't, don't! Ah! Ah! If you want to know what's going on with the wand, find me at the entrance to the lower caves. Okay, then. Fine. I think it's about time I send this. This went on longer than I anticipated, and a lot has happened. <sighs> Right. Okay then. Well, this seems like an apt place to finish. 
Okay, uh, thank you very much for watching guys. If you like this video, please press like, subscribe, comment if you want to, and I hope to see you next time on any of my Let's Plays, including my next uh, Book of Unwritten Tales 2 Let's Play. Thank you very much and I will see you around. Hello everyone, this is Geegoth. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like this video, please press like and subscribe and comment if you feel so inclined. And I hope to see you next time on any of my Let's Plays, including the Let's Play that you are currently enjoying. Uh, thank you very much, and I shall see you around.